Hello, welcome to LiveView Mastery number two, where we're going to be installing Alpine JS, which is the perfect pair to our usage of LiveView. Alpine is a very lightweight JavaScript framework, and you're gonna be using it for very light JavaScript interactions on your page, like opening drop downs and closing them and things like that. So it, we're gonna be installing this inside of a Phoenix LiveView application to fill out the entire standard pedal stack, Phoenix, Elixir, Tailwind, Alpine JS and Live View. And yeah, so now we're gonna install Alpine JS inside of a new Phoenix project. So the very first thing that we're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to install Node on your machine. If you don't have Node installed, NPM doesn't come out of the box uh, with Phoenix anymore. So you need to go to nodejs.org slash en slash download and install Node. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a package.json file. So the way we do this is we need to go into our assets folder, which has all of our uh, assets. Um, this actually has a package lock.json already and it shouldn't, but that's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize a package.json file, open that up. And at this point now we can install Tailwind and it's going to add it as a dependency of our application. So we're gonna type in npm install dash dash save Alpine JS. We're going to open up this, check out this file, and we're going to see that Alpine JS did get updated, and we've installed Alpine. And now we need to make Phoenix aware of our Alpine JS installation. So now that it's installed via npm, we need to import it into our project. So we add it to one of our imp import lines, and then now we load Alpine with the two commands for Alpine 3 plus window.alpine equals alpine and alpine.start. So now at this point, we can display that alpine is up and running. So we're gonna open up one of our pages. This is what the page currently looks like. It looks like this guy. And we're gonna go in here and we're going to throw in some HTML that requires alpine. We're gonna do a drop down, an options drop down. It's got settings and support and sign out our server, we go back to our server, we can recognize, even though this is ugly, that Alpine is working as intended. And then finally, so now we have Alpine up and running, we're good to go. And what we're gonna do is make sure that whenever someone installs this application from scratch, that we are going to, in our setup command, mix uh, our mix setup, it's going to install all of our dependencies, it's gonna set up our database, and it's also going to install Tailwind with our npm install prefix assets command. Once we add this, we're completely done. We're completely set up with Alpine. You have the entire pedal stack, uh, Phoenix, Elixir, Tailwind, Alpine, and LiveView. You are up and running and good to go.